take it to the dump, salvage yard, and so on. I have a question. There was a mobile home that stood on the corner of Looking for stuff to dismantle, to be sold, 
I don't know if that'd be the direction you'd be looking at, but it might be an option for you. Save you a lot of effort and then help uh, pay for the expense as well. Maybe work out a deal, you know. Because the trailer frame itself, the axles and stuff that it sits on is pretty heavy. And the tin can all be scrapped, you know. And, and you might have enough money there if you can work out a deal and somebody do the work for you to buy it, you know, to pay for a dumpster and removal of the property of the, you know, and the debris that's inside of it. I haven't really looked into that, you know, that's an yeah. idea. It's an option, you might, you might, because you can call in on there, you know, and tell them, you know, you, you're not real healthy and you're looking for somebody, and that way it's disposed of and it's done for you, and, you know, but when you start dismantling this, I, and you have insurance on this currently? No, I don't. I have insurance on the, the property, the land itself, but the trailer's not really that you know, just my concern is if you have kids or something and want to get around and try to get in because it looks like the door and stuff's not really secured, that they were to get hurt, you'd be liable for it and it'd be costly to you. You might post it and put up, you know, no trespassing while you are there all over the place. And tearing it down and tape it off or do whatever's necessary to let people know that it's not safe to be around. Uh, you know, it's posted no trespassing. Okay. Both sides, from the right. And uh, I do occasionally have a teenager approved for me, and if I do it, they'll be there to do it. That'd be great. I'm yeah. guessing, you know, I mean, at least I'm yeah. hoping they will. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty good at telling them what to do, but I'm not real good at picking it up and doing it. Uh -huh. times. But I haven't set on a time frame or anything of that nature. I really don't uh, look at trying to restore it at all. Yeah, by looking at it, it would cost you more than a lot more money to restore well, it than just a snack. And like I said, all I use it for is just a basic storage. It hasn't been uh, any residential use since the 90s. You know, <coughs> and I don't, I don't know if those automobiles are still sitting there or They're not, gone. but They're if they gone. were, you could scrap them if they, if they weren't going to value you. That's what I did. I said, I've been down there quite a few times. Just pull them in, sell them, I mean, uh -huh. put them on a tow bar. What, what would be a reasonable period of time, you think, maybe 90 days? 90 days would probably be more than you need. More than you'd need. Yeah. Okay. And I don't mean to speak for the board thing by has any uh, comments, but um, I think I'd be comfortable with 90 days to... Probably the first year. Or we could even, yeah, go January 1st, that sounds good. It's basically 90 days. So, um, Nathan, if you get that done by January 1st, then... That's, that's the end of it. If it wouldn't be done January 1st, then we'll probably ask you to come before us again and find out why. But, yeah. um, I guess do we need a vote on that? Yeah, we need a motion. Okay. Motion to remove. All right. I'll, um, well, do we need a motion to remove or a motion, motion to set a date? Right. Oh, okay. I'll, would someone like to make that motion? I'll make the motion. All right. I'll second. Roll call vote, please. I see it's a motion to be moved by January 1st. Correct. Yes. 2011. Yeah. If, if it appears that Mr. Gilbert's not going to have it done, if he can just contact Kathy and let her and just communicate with us. But. And like I said, at that point, we probably come. Typically, everybody gets it done the time frame. The one or two we've had got it done the time frame. We'll hold it. Bruce? Yes. Tom? Yes. Herb? Yes. Uh, Roy? Yes. Lynn? Yes. All right. Well, thanks, Nathan. Good luck with that. Um, any other business to come for the Planning Commission this evening? Um, you, you want to speak on that? He asked about the Taylor building. What, I, what I'd like to do is have an executive meeting yeah. for next month's meeting. Or if there isn't a next month meeting, we'll do it the month after. I would say right now, chances are we will have a meeting next month. Okay. Because we're going to have a meeting next month. You just do it 10 minutes before. And 10 minutes before, Glenn will be on one with the well, two, two, or I might still be speaking. Or we yeah, if there is 